All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Valhelsia 2. I know it's been a bit, guys, but we are back crack a lacking, and we're going to be having a good day today because, guys, we're getting into a new mod called uh, Create. Yep, so first things off, we're going to go ahead and need to get the water wheel here. So what this mod is, is basically think of a power generation mod that uses, like, centrifugal force like spinning things, so we're gonna need to get this going. Um, okay, so. And the only reason we're doing this is because we need to get some dough. And I will tell you in a little bit why we're gonna need all that dough. But don't worry, it's okay. So we're gonna be getting that. I've got some of these cogwheels already made up, uh, but we don't need that. So we need to make something called andesite alloy, which is this. We're gonna need some iron to make some ingots. Now, if we go like this, we can make a bunch of the andesite alloy. Here we go. To make a water wheel, we need some buttons from some weed. Like so. Yeah, so we can make six of those. We need a half slab of jabbies. Okay, bam. Okay, so these water wheels, they're kind of like the water mills from Immersive Engineering, if you guys have ever messed with that mod at all. But we're going to go ahead and set these up, hmm, probably on the back of the house here. This is where I was thinking would be a good spot. Okay, so I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, oh my goodness. So, we need to chisel out some room here. It fits perfect here, guys. I'm so excited. Now, we actually do have immersive engineering into this, but we're not going to be using that just yet. Oh, and that even connects. That looks so good. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get a bucket here. And that will allow us to... To turn those wheels. Okay, so a bucket. Okay. So we need to have this here. No. Okay. Yep, so you see that's spinning faster and faster. We can actually make that really quick with the setup we're doing. Okay, so we have all these going. As you can see, they're moving pretty quick here. But if we actually put some of this down here at the bottom we can make them go stupid fast and these will produce like think of power for us uh centrifugal force power let's just make sure okay yep so these are all maxed out here um these are moving yeah look at that look at that mm, that's delicious Actually, can we place a block here? Again, slower. I don't think so. I don't think it is. Now I'm wondering if we move the water back to here, will it be even faster? If we can just put some slabs here like that. Okay, so that gives us double going here. I don't know if that's actually any faster. Might not be. There's no way for us to tell unless we get those goggles. And if you guys wonder what goggles I'm talking about, they're called engineer's goggles. Um, they should be in here somewhere. Aha, there they are. Engineer's goggles, these guys. So we need to go ahead and make some of these. It requires a gold plate. Cool, we can use immersive engineering for that. Beautiful. Okay, so we got those engineer's goggles made up. Let's just see here. Oh, I don't have my jetpack on. That's a big oof. Yep, 
Yeah, okay. So look at this. These are each producing 240 SU. I forget what that means, but that's basically the power here. Um, they kind of exploded there. Yeah, so that's very neato. But what we need to do... Let's see. Yep, that... That's working. If we place another one here like this... Okay, so we're getting power here from those guys. Got that just ran there. Uh, and the whole reason we're doing this is to get this guy powered. How are we going to do that yet? <sighs> okay, so we got power to there. Okay, so we ended up getting it working right pro finally. Uh, we had to use one of the bigger gears over here. As you can see, they don't seem to be spinning at the same speed. Uh, but then that comes over here, spins at these, spin each other, or against each other, comes over here. That's not where that goes. Put that here, and then now we can put our guy here like so. Now, when we throw a wheat into there, we should get uh, like a, not dough, but something else. I forget what it's called. Let's just go ahead and see if we can. Okay. We go to six. Okay, so that's grinding up that to get the dough. Um, it says out of there comes that. Okay. Collects the outputs manually when right clicked. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. We got uh, wheat flour. Uses we combine this with a water bucket and we get some dough. Yes. Now, if we combine this with our lime floral powder, as you can see, we get a slime ball. Oh, all of this for a slime ball. Ridiculous. Now we come over here to this guy. We toss this because if we look under here, we have the al alchemy catalyst. Uh, I did actually record us making that, but it wasn't all that good, so I deleted the footage. Don't worry about it. And so now we can start a a cactus farm. And the idea is we make a giant cactus farm. We use Batania to swap everything back over to slime balls. So that's the whole reason we got into that. We are definitely going to be using this more. I just we needed to do that right now, so we could go ahead and get this working. Now, can we make this into a vacuum hopper? We can't, but what we are going to go ahead and do here is we... I should have got one of those for my journeys. We're going to basically be making a cactus bonsai pot, if you remember from my other series. Oh, it's going to be glorious. So we're just going to grab this chest here. Um... Okay, so we should have everything we need for a hopping botany pot. Yep, we sure do. Now we can put the cactus in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We made a few achievements. It says now you're thinking with hoppers, let it and let it grow. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is here in this, no, not that corner, uh, maybe in, in this corner, we will put this here with you here and you here. Yes, and that is going to grow our cactus so we can get more. Now we're gonna make more and more of these, but each one of these cacti, we can throw into our little thing over there and we can turn them into slime balls because in a few episodes, guys, I want to go ahead and get some refined storage going because I think we really need it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to let the, this grow for a bit. I'm going to go at AFK and we'll be back later. All right, guys, so it's been a little bit of time. As you can see, I've got over a stack of cactus now, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and see how many of these we can actually put in here. All right, we got 22 slime balls. Oh, yeah. Now, if you guys are wondering what the what the slime balls are for, <clears throat> they are for refined storage. Yeah. 
Very neato Toledo. So this is working pretty good, actually. Um, I really, I really am a fan of it. Let's see here. We also need to automate some, some forms of getting the mana. Mana, 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 mana. This is how I'm doing it now. Yeah, each end of flames picking it up. As you can see, they all activated. And then they're putting that over there. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, let me see how much time we got left for the video, and we will give a little crack at it. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so for the remainder of this video, we're going to go ahead and get a few bonsai pots up and working here. Now, the cool thing about this mod pack is that we have storage drawers in here. This will work, actually. Uh, but we're going to need gonna need some things. Okay, so in order to make the storage drawers, we're going to need to make the 2x2 the two two here, which is very simple. Bet you if we just do that. Yeah, it allows us. Cool. Okay, so... We are going to put these, we're going to be moving this on the opposite end, over here. And we're going to need to go get some clay. Now it is nighttime out, so it's a little spoopy, so we're going to have to sleep. Okay, now that the spoopiness is gone, we can go ahead and find some clay. Here. Kapow, kapow. Kapow. E swim. Okay, we got a bunch of clay now, which is goo, which is goo, which is goo. We even went over the top of some clay here. Oh no, he died. Rested pep pepperonis. Okay, so we need some clay. We're, we actually didn't need that much clay, but we do need some clay to make this. Oh, look at that. We got less, more clay. Less, more clay. That makes so much sense, if you ask me. Okay, so we do, do we have any extra clay bars laying around? This is a visual glitch, by the way. So we broke this, di this uh, diamond hammer, I guess. And it shows that the uh, it's got negative durability because it's broken. Yeah, so I made another diamond hammer because so why not? I also made the the tool pattern for it, so these have become easier to make if and if I remember correctly. All you need is just paper and blue dye, which is pretty neat. You can also mix these together. See the create mod, this thing that we just got into. This is gonna be fun. I'm actually really excited to explore this just a little bit more. But we should have enough now for a bonza pot. Yeah. Now the hopping bonsai. This guy here is the bonsai with the hopper, with the flopper. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, so we can go ahead and get this one started. So we are going to put three different wood types here. We're gonna get spruce, we're gonna get dark oak, and we're gonna get normal oak. There's no need for birch because birch is ugly. So we got oak here. Apple oak sapling. Can we actually use that instead? That'd be dope. That would be a renewable food source that we wouldn't have to work for. Oh, it does work. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and chuck an apple. Some apples in there so it just they won't let anything else grow. That did work. There's a visual glitch. I don't think we're supposed to be doing that, but we're going to try it out, see if it works. Okay. Um, so we actually can put sugar cane in here, which isn't a bad idea. Yeah, I'd like it. We're going to have to put somewhere else. We have to make, actually, we need to make a, a, a basement here, but no matter. We should have, yep, we got enough smel uh, smelted up for one more of these. Okay. So we can put this guy here. Beautiful. Okay. It's apple, redwood, yellow autumn. Uh, 
Apple. Okay, spruce. Gonna need some dirt for it. We've got some. We've got some here. Spruce wood. Okay, so that's working just fine. Beautiful. Now, I don't think we have any dark oak yet, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But we will... We won't cry at all. Not yet, anyway. They haven't even come into contact with dark oak, so we'll, we should be okay. Um, yeah, that'd be cool if we could get some dark oak, though. Is there a way to get the sapling? It looks like if we chuck a sapling in there a few times, it should come out as the right one. So let's grab our spruce sapling. We're going to chuck it into our thingy. Okay, so that gave us a birch. It disappeared. I didn't get it back. Okay, maybe it didn't work. I just want some dark oak. Oh, I get it. They don't automatically convert. Oh, it's like a hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Good lord, why did I even start that? Okay, so we got a few spruce saplings here. It's not like we can't go just get a whole bunch of them. Oh, the endo flames are picking them up. Mmm, let's give these guys a block of coal each. Can we do that? Carbon nanotube. So these should be able to make this work. Yes. Okay. Okay, we got some acacia. Yes, we got dark oak. Beautiful. What does dark oak go into? Oak. Okay, we don't need that. But we did get our dark oak sapling that we wanted. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and make up our final bonsai pot for the day. Club Bamo. All right, we place this down here. Place this here. Pow. Now we got dark oak. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're only getting two apples from this. That's okay. I think it's a visual glitch. But we're going to have to add in some sugarcane stuff here because our cactus bonsai things are doing well. Look at this, right? It's about to pop. Yeah. So I'm talking about, look at that, we got dark oak, everyone. All right. But guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. We got some fun plans ready going on. I'm excited. I'm inspired to play this again. That's what I mean to say. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. I hope you loved it. Take care. Bye-bye.